Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. Thank you for stopping by. Make sure you hit that subscribe button to join the Chameleon family. Also, make sure you are following me on Instagram. I'm gonna let y'all go ahead because I don't know where y'all at. Y'all not over on Instagram and that hurts my feelings. So make sure you follow me on Instagram. So today's video is a topic that me and my homegirls was talking about the other day. So me and two of my really, really good girlfriends, um, we have a accountability like Zoom call every Friday. So we go over what we did for the week, our goals for next week, and like we hold each other accountable. We also set like, you know, really cool intentions and we big each other up. So she happened to um get somebody's number well he was flirting with her and um gave his phone number to her and so she was asking what should she text um back and then we got on the subject of flirting and so you know she was like you need to do a whole video on flirting because you are like feminine queen and um I think that that is probably something I didn't realize that I do very effortlessly when it comes to flirting and that was even before I really was into my spirituality um, feminine journey. I've always been able to execute flirting really really well and I don't know if that's the Scorpio in me or what. So I was like hell yeah I'll definitely make a video about flirting. So. That's what we're going to be talking about today. So the first um, things, I'm going to break it down into like two little sections. Um, and so within the first part, I'm going to be talking all about knowing the difference. So I think this is key when it comes to flirting, when knowing the difference between one thing and another thing. So the four that I have are knowing the difference. No, it's three. I'm sorry. Knowing the difference between confidence and arrogance. Um, assertiveness and aggressiveness and then sensuality and sexuality so sexual versus sensual um, and then the last three are just going to be more about how to execute properly so uh, within that I have master your gaze bask in your feminine energy be conversational and high value and then leave mystery so we're just going to dive right into all of these break them down bit by bit and especially cover being flirtatious in a feminine way so the first thing is confidence versus arrogance now i feel like there is a very thin line between all of these and knowing the difference between being confident and high value versus being arrogant and off-putting um, is one body movement, one eye movement, one word away from each other. Um, I feel like a lot of women sometimes struggle with this because we want to appear um, that we know our self-worth, that we have confidence, that we are high value. And sometimes that can translate into um, arrogance. And I feel like the difference is confidence and high value. Think of those as staying in your feminine energy versus when you go over to the arrogant cocky side, you are dipping into your masculine energy. And I know I get a lot of comments from women saying how um, they still need a lot of help with not being in their masculine energy so much. And that is the key here. So um, just when you put that in perspective like that, if you're moving forward over towards the arrogant cocky side, you are dipping your toe in the masculine energy and you need to reel it back in. Um, being a confident woman, being of high value is already um, intriguing in itself and is going to draw whoever you're trying to flirt with to you. Um, and so because you are exuding this high value, this high confidence, this sureness of yourself, but still in a very humble um, way, it's 
it's welcoming. So you want to make sure that you are welcoming. That is the first thing when it comes to flirting and being able to flirt is having a welcoming spirit around you. So just know the difference between those two and I guarantee you, you'll start to notice a lot of other things fall into perspective as well when it comes to exuding your high value. So the second one is kind of similar. So being assertive against being aggressive again same thing so assertive is more on your feminine side and then aggressive is more on your masculine energy and you really want to make sure you are always staying in your feminine energy you are div divine feminine whether you are a man or a woman it's not based on gender it is based on your inner higher self so um, being assertive, knowing what you want, claiming what you want, speaking on what you want with conviction um, is always welcomed. It's respected. People know what you stand for, who you are, and what you want. And in that, you are setting your boundaries, you are setting how you want to be treated, and you are putting out there what you want to receive. Now, you can assert that you want someone to come over to you, approach you. You can assert yourself in certain situations where, you know, you want him to um, court you and buy you a drink, open the door for you, um, things like that. Your assertiveness is needs to be subtle at the same time. And that's why when you tap into that aggression, that's when it does not become subtle. That's when it's masculine. And that's when it's, the lines can be crossed as far as what type of woman you are and what you will allow. So if you're going over there being aggressive, rubbing up on him, you're showing that you're interested, you're showing that you're down for anything and that I'm going to have you in any capacity, um, you aren't showing that you value yourself highly because it's a privilege to be with you, not the other way around. And so you don't want to send that chasing type of method. You want to assert yourself and know that my presence is here and you know that I want you and you're gonna, you know, I, it's, it's so hard to explain without trying to like do my body like this, but, um, I hope that that like so far you understand what I'm trying to say, guys, I don't really write any of this stuff down. It is on the top of the dome. So I apologize if I sound like I'm all over the place sometimes, but hopefully you understand what I mean. So just knowing the difference between asserting yourself, being polished, being sure and not dipping over into that aggressive side. That can also come with texting. It's not only in physical form, that could be in texting as well, making sure that you are choosing your words and verbiage really wisely. Um, you want to make sure that you are heard and that it's clear, but you also want to be a little playful and not so, you know, in your face about it. Kind of, and that's what we'll tap into the leave mystery. We'll tap into that later on, but um, just, practice the difference and and read things out loud too so like say things to yourself and or before you text it or before you say it if it sounds a bit on the aggressive side um then you know you need to revise a little bit so always pre uh you know use yourself as a guide and be honest like would i like be like damn that was a little much would i receive that well and then yes everyone is not like you but there are kind of ground rules and playing field to um how we feel and how certain words and certain actions make us feel as humans so um just practice that a little bit before you jump in so hard And then the last one, which I feel like is the most important, is knowing sensual versus sexual. And this is a really big one, especially if you are a woman, because we have been told um, a lot of different things when it comes to sex and when it comes to sexuality and sensuality. And I feel like there are a lot of misrepresentations on how a woman should behave in that space. And so it is perfectly okay to show your sensual feminine side when it, especially when it comes to dating. Um, there's things where your body language, your eye contact, the way you speak, 
uh, what you're speaking about subtle things that just exude sensuality and I have a whole video on how to um, be sensual so if you guys want to check that out make sure you check that out um, but you don't want to cross that line with being sexual and because you don't want to send the wrong message you don't want to basically be an open book when it comes to flirting um, he should want to know more. He should be drawn to just the little bit that you give him because the little bit that you give him is still so vast. Um, and I'm going to make a whole separate video on sex and sex experiences and are your sex sexual are your sexual experiences serving you? So I'm going to make a whole video on that um, because even when it comes down to flirting, if your end goal is to sleep with that guy, that's perfectly fine. No one says that, you know, you have to uphold any type of rules or you have your sexual experience with whoever you want on your own time frame. But when it comes to flirting, even if that is your end goal, don't uh make that be known and and that you always keep your power and your self-worth first because at the end of the day if that is your goal it's still your decision and not the other person's so you don't want to give them too much of that sexual energy right away you want to just make sure you are sensual and um i dive more into that in my previous video so make sure you watch that So let's go into kind of breaking down um, flirting. So number one, definitely master your gaze. I speak about eye contact so much because it is so powerful. It shows a lot when you know how to hold a gaze. And in any scenario, whether you are holding a gaze where you're at a business meeting and you need to show your confidence and assert your position um, with wherever you are in that company and be taken seriously, eye contact is really important. But it is also very important on the playful flirting side of things because um, it also shows that confidence and yet it also brings the person in. So if you see someone from across the room that you're interested in, you have to master that gaze because that is saying, okay, hey, how you doing? I'm interested without like you, hey, get over here. You know, that's, that's a little bit too much. But, you know, just mastering that gaze, just the, the slow look up, you hold it. And then you kind of, you know, look away. I'm telling you guys that is flirting one on one. Like that gaze just tells the other person everything they need to know. And about a few minutes, they're going to be over coming over to you in a short minute. Even if you sometimes I don't even intend to do that to people because I'm always in, like when I'm out and in social settings, um, I tend to be in my sensual energy a lot and I tend to flirt unknowingly um, with men, women. I'm just I, my energy is just so very high because I'm in tune with myself. And so I'll find people coming over to me trying to make conversation or do things. And I'm like, damn, I summoned them for some reason, <laughs> which I didn't mean to. So master your gaze. I'm telling you, it works. So this one, bask in your feminine energy. This means always have that at the forefront where you are playful, where you are soft, where you are endearing. We talk about being feminine all the time here on this channel. And if you speak to any man, any real man, or if you are in the same sex relationship, um, the more masculine person in the relationship um, that has that masculine energy, they will tell you that when a woman is in her feminine energy, it is the most captivating thing you can be in. Um, when you are not too um, masculine, when you're not too independent, when you're open to receive. When, if someone sends you a drink or, you know, wants to have a drink with you, wants to have, you know, conversation, of course it's COVID. So, you know, I know some places y'all still not open to that. But in previous situations, Take a step back and look at yourself and look how you behaved in those settings. Were you in your feminine energy? Were you playful? Were you open? Were you 
um, kind? Were you attentive? Um, did you show interest, whether you're interested or not? Because there is a science to turning people down without making them feel this small, you know? And I feel like sometimes women, we tend to do that, um, especially if we feel like we are here um, and there's no problem with feeling you are here, um, but not at somebody else's expense. So making sure that you are still engaging in a more respectful manner and just enjoying. You never know what you're going to get from that person, from that conversation. Um, and so just being open to receive is amazing. So just fine tune your femininity habits. And I have a whole video on that as well. So make sure you check that out if you need a refresher on just how to be more feminine overall. Now, this one is be conversational and have high value. So make sure you are speaking about, you know, things that are of interest of you that show how high value of a person you are. You don't really want to talk about, you know, sex or anything like that off the bat. That is not flirting. It's off putting and it's unnecessary. Um, so making sure what your conversation is about has some weight to it. Um, you don't want to seem airheady. You don't want to seem too big headed. It just needs to be right in the middle and don't be afraid to show your personality. I'm not saying that now you have to be this reserved wallflower. Show your personality and make that in your conversation. Talk about your likes, your dislikes, your goals. Um, you know, don't really re like go back to previous relationships or things like that. That stuff is unnecessary information. So make it really lighthearted, but also make it um, memorable as well. So when you're flirting, you are leaving an impression. That is the number one thing you are, you know, need to remember. How you flirt is the impression you're going to make, which in turn is going to determine the relationship and the longevity of that relationship. Somebody really doesn't feel that interest or that memorable quality from you, they're going to probably ghost you, stop texting you, stop calling you, or tell you they're not interested. Um, and that's because you weren't showing who you are and basking in your presence. So make your presence known, especially if you are shooting the shot. Um, you really want to bring all of you to the table, but in a very lighthearted way. I, I don't, I hope I'm not contradicting myself. Uh, I hope you guys are understanding. Leave a thumbs up if you are enjoying what I'm saying and you following me and you get it. <laughs> and then the last one. So, so important. And this is just in being feminine in itself. Leave mystery, okay? Um, leave some mystery. Do not dive deep, like I just said, into every inch of you. Um, your whole life story, that can be a bit overwhelming when it comes to flirting. Flirting is something that is very simple and short and small little things that just captivate that person. But in order to continue that, you need to leave a little bit of mystery, okay? You need to have them wondering. You need to have them wanting more. Uh, that comes with not being available all the time, okay? Um when they ask to meet up, you know, for date two or three or whatever, or when they're texting you, um, not being available. You are a high value woman, okay? You have things going on. You're busy. So not in an arrogant, cocky way, like, you know, if you on the couch watching Netflix and it's like, oh, I'm busy, sir. Like, no. Um, but you don't need to always be so available. You need to leave that mystery. If they are interested and in you gave them a good impression from the jump, they will want to continue to build with you. And the flirting just will continue from there. So, um... I think that this is probably the biggest tip that a lot of women need to take heed to is leaving a little bit more mystery and not being so available and not chasing. So flirting is not just, you know, oh, you look good texting like, oh, you sexy. That is not flirting. 
<laughs> that's just flat out just saying what you feel flirting is the art of mystery it's like a little bit pull back a little bit you pull back you show it's like is she interested is she not i don't know i'm trying to stick around to see that is the art of it and it's fun and it's playful so just make sure you are keeping that at the forefront and then also staying in your feminine energy while you do it because when you cross over and you're a bit too masculine then you know that's when lines get crossed and it can become something other than what you intend it to be so um i hope this was helpful i will definitely like to dive in more into the art of flirting and just um basking in that i guess when it comes to what conversations to have how to text um if that is something you want to continue to see me dive into like if this video was a little bit of flirting with you like i gave you stuff but i didn't give you enough then let me know and we will continue the conversation um also let me know what other videos you would like to see coming up oh i didn't even address but i know y'all see it my hair got the twist back um i have been missing these twists i had my hair out for a while and so i'm gonna have these in for a little bit so i'll try to do some videos that revolve around that and yeah i will see you guys in my next video i am headed to charlotte tomorrow so i'm gonna try to vlog and i'm taking some photos oh, it's gonna be amazing so i will see you guys in my next one peace